only 43 years ago when the English Captain Cook arrived in Hawaii. My brothers stood for the first time face to face with a Christian world whose existence they've never even dreamt of. My life will be one of work, poverty, bad food, living in a grass hut surrounded by filth and savages. I find it sad that after all these years together, two people should have to stop loving each other in order to love God. They have defied God. And God has visited his wrath on them, as I foretold. This afternoon, our men are coming ashore. They will remain ashore tonight. If you come, you will be arrested. Try that and there'll be trouble. Then there will be trouble. For two years now, I've thought of nothing but you. Night and day on sea and land, nothing but you. Within three days, this disease will sweep through Lahaina like a raging plague. Their fevers will go unbelievably high. Their deaths are agonizing beyond all imagination. You love Hawaiians as potential converts, but you despise them as people. The Cape, is it there that the day of reckoning will come for those who refuse to heed God's word? Will tides as high as mountains engulf you and seawater fill your nostrils and your lungs? Is it possible for anything to seem lovely without God having wanted it so?